Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar stages another upside attempt and this time has managed to break through the 75, 25, 35 level. However, the next level I view at 75, 60 will be the challenge. If we see a break above there, then we have to reassess the whole pattern and therefore look for a further bullish case. In light of the weeklies, could see a rise up towards 76.5 as the initial target. However, before that's all been said, we do need to keep an eye on that 75.60 level and see if the market can continue because there is some divergence here. All eyes on the RBA today at 2.30. It is assessed that the RBA will keep rates on hold as widely expected. However, it's all in the statement. Will they switch more to a hawkish stance and start talking about rate hikes or continue to maintain their view and keep rates on hold in the, in the near term? The euro <clears throat> continues to head lower as the market call for, since the rejection of 111.7080 looks towards 109.30. As we get closer towards this region, we do have to reassess due to that because if we see a break of 109.30, it does give further initial weakness to 107.5085 in light of the pattern and also with the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies and the euro weighted at 57.6 to the index could see further risk that there's the dollar rallies that we may be looking towards to this bottom side that didn't quite re get reached in earlier that is around february march the dollar yen is notching higher as we can see here the market although from a technical point is very weak i feel the market is slowly grinding to a potential rejection and therefore is very sort of at this point to ascertain where the rejection will be but i would be looking anywhere closer to this region around 123 at, as at present as we're getting closer towards this level now let's see if the market does take a rejection from there as the rsi is slightly buckled the sterling was a little bit lackluster overnight nevertheless the market is still maintaining around that 131 handle i do view that uh, the technicals are a little bit weaker but therefore any dip should be an opportunity to see the balls come back into the market as long as we maintain above the 130 level i'm viewing overall that the market should rebound to the 133 level and reassess I haven't given up on the sterling kiwi. I still feel that this bullish divergence and also the way this RSI is shaped up, that we will get eventually a move to the upside. It's very slow and it's coming. Nevertheless, the market should look towards 190 and then eventually up towards this region around 192. The market for gold was a little bit lackluster also. It was trading sideways and looking for a direction. At present, the market still seems to be contained around that 1,940 to 50 area. And I do feel that we are eventually going to see a break to the downside. And if so, look towards that challenge of 1,900. A move beneath there would see 1,870 as the next target in as an assessment however the rsi is still coasting around or flirting with the midway point at 50 so a little bit more confirmation is required to support the bear case but nevertheless it doesn't appear that the balls are able to recapture the current pattern where we are and therefore the bears should continue away on the market and wrapping up, well, the market for oil has bounced and back towards the 103 region. In light of the pattern, unless we get a break above 106.50, then I feel overall the downside is still very much towards the, towards the 97 to 92, 94 area. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. But please join me later for the end of the day wrap and also keep an eye out for the intraday report.